Alright guys, this is a quick tip on some body work here. Um, guys trying to, maybe you're stuck on some body work job at, at work or maybe you're doing something in your garage at home and you're just kind of stuck on it. You can't really get it straight. Uh, this is a uh, heavy body work here. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple pointers. So, first thing you're going to want to do when you're sanding body work is find the right block for the for the job. I see too many guys, one using VAs. VAs are not for body work, okay? That's for finished sanding and uh, flat surface sanding and feather right here. It's not for doing straightening body work. So you're gonna wanna find the right block for the right area. So this is a good size block for this general area. This is the wrong size block for this general area. Although, you can use it if you're good enough and fast enough and you know exactly where the high spots are and how to keep it consistent. So, if I'm doing it the right way versus something like the wrong way, it would be like, you know, one spot continuously forever. Um, so, you would want to, I see too many guys that spend too much time on one area and you're trying to keep a, an area where you put a patch, a welding patch or a glued patch on rust, which I did here. here this whole thing is made by hand if you look at my other video. Um, but anyway, uh, if you have a patch here, okay, you can't just keep the body work in that area. You're painting this entire path. If you're doing a, a, a car, you're gonna to try to blend to the adjacent panels anyway. If you have to stretch that body work to make it straight, that's what you gotta do. I mean, there's no keeping it small. If you try to keep it small, what you're gonna have is a big bump. You know what I mean? You're gonna have a big bump right here. You don't want that. You wanna stretch it out, you wanna even it, and you wanna make an optical illusion out of this body line. Yeah, it's protruding outward. But if, as long as you keep it long and big, and stretch it out, you'll be fine. Okay, now that's only when you're doing a patch. If you're doing a dent, like a golf ball dent in a car or something, that's a totally different procedure. This is for patchwork, crust work, heavy duty body work. Not, and generally, most body shops aren't doing body work like this anymore anyway. Uh, with, you know, some resto stuff and, and whatever. But this is more like a block sanding technique video anyway. So, anyway, uh, the right block for the right job. So, what you want to do is keep that block. Okay, and, and try to cover as much of the area as you possibly can with the block. So instead of having a block like this, that doesn't make any sense, does it? One, you're digging into the edges, you can see how much of the block is catching the body work there. Not much, but if you have it like this, and you keep it in an X pattern, how much you get in there. So you want to keep it consistent, stretch it. All right, if you're doing a big area, stretch it. You know? So something like this, keep it in an X, an X pattern. So you're going X. All right. stuff until after you have your flat surfaces straight. Once you have these areas straight, then you worry about taping and doing whatever you need to do to get your lines and go in and do the detail. I see too many guys skipping all around. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're doing this. And then all of a sudden we'll stop and like hit this little edge here. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? Think, and this ain't even straight yet, and I'm worried about this. Now, you gotta get this whole thing straight. Get make your majority stuff straight. And then you go and hit all of your fine detail work. Just like sculpting, it's artwork. It really is. 
anybody who tells you that this job is an artwork is bullshit and they don't know what they're doing. This is an absolute artist job. You don't worry about any of that stuff until after your main area is complete. Now, for something like this, you need a makeshift block to get in there. Something small. So you don't want to flip your block up on its edge and cheat. You want to get a special block. These ones work good too. These are more for like wet sanding and buffing, but you know. You can use them. Um, a couple of things here. Here's a soft block Velcro, medium size. Then you have your half moon round block. I'm not going to use that on this job, but here's a softer one. I, I use this generally after to do some final detail work with 180 or 320. And this is the block, and these two are going to be ones that I made specifically for these smaller areas like this. And you keep it the same concept. So, you know, I'll even have to use the skinnier edge just to get it and do the next thing. So you don't want to go like this. Like with body work, I see guys you want to go like this. That's not how you do it. That's wrong. You want to keep it in an X pattern. You don't want to keep it in an X pattern like this. You want to cover as much of the area as the block as you possibly can. That's how you do it. Alright? So, and then with something like this. You know, and that's how you get your little areas. Then you want to go and chop up some of your body lines. You know, take your time with them. Tape it if you have to. Meaning, uh, with some tape. Maybe put some filler and let the filler dry a little bit. Pull the tape and tape the other side. Pull filler. Whatever you have to do to make your body line. We'll do that in another video. But anyway, on your last coat, see how this is? Say you have like an edge here. You don't want to try to fill into that. You don't want to try to fill into your grind marks where you end, where you stop with your grinder. All right. <laughs> Once you clean that off and blow it off, is what you're going to want to put your final swipe of glaze, whoa, shit, into, into that, not into this. Then you're sanding and creating more work because you're trying to, you're trying to bring feather edging from bodywork into into this, and you're always going to have that line. So if you feather it out first, then put your glaze then feather into that, and then feather it out farther, that's how you, you do your finished work. And then, um, you know, you go to priming and, and everything else. But as far as, like, you know, this all goes, keep it in an X, keep a long thing. Now, one trick you can, you can do is grab a rag, close your eyes, and feel it. And you'll be able to feel it a lot easier where the where it's straight and where it's not. And uh, you can even use guy coat. I see guys, uh, some guys like to use spray paint. Um, the powder guy coat works. Whatever you like to use. Um, I, don't, I don't use anything. I can feel it with my hand. I've been doing this for uh, 15 years. So I'm iCard, Gold Class certified, PPT certified, Sherwin Williams certified painter. Um, and I have over 20 years experience doing this. So. Um, primarily a painter, but uh, if you know painters, most painters know how to do body work too. Because if you don't, then your paint job will end up looking like shit if you can't catch something that's that's not good. So um, I had to learn how to do it 
his body dies, we're always trashing shit and bringing it into the paint shop that wasn't ready. So as you can see, like you don't see any of the final detail work or anything done yet because I don't have this completely straight yet. So once you have all this straight with 40 grit, then you do all your final detail, then you're gonna switch into 80, 180, 220, 320, DA feather edge, block it one more time with 320 because when you DA and feather edge, most likely what you're gonna do is get into some of the body work. So you wanna make sure you the block scene. So if um, what I'm trying to do is make a whole new channel, I think, just on body work and showing and teaching my skills uh, with painting and body work in the auto body industry. But for now, I'm just going to upload the video on this channel because this is where my audience is and I just want to see what kind of reaction I get from it. Um, it is a lot of work. It is. It does take skill. It is an art. Um, and there's good money into it. So anybody who is going to say, like, oh, there's no money in the auto body industry, um, you're, you're actually wrong. If you're good at it and you have a skill at it, um, people crash, you know. Um, Accidents happen. This is some finished, almost finished body work here. Um, and that's in the stage of blaze. So you can tell, we, you know, see now this is something, here is what I mean. So you, you put that up into the paint, but it's feather edged, not like this underneath that, but like how it is over here. So when you block, when you're blocking that, you're not, you're not blocking into grind marks. You're blocking into something that's already feather edged, so it's going to come out a lot nicer, a lot straighter. And um, when you go to prime it and stuff, you're not going to have stuff coming back and through and heavy grit scratches and whatnot. Now, keep in mind, this is not a Ferrari. This is a soda delivery truck. So, you know, but it still has to look good. You know, if you look in my other video, the whole back of that truck was gone, completely rusted. I made this whole thing out of old door panels and um, and glue. So, not just, you know, like Elmer's glue, you get a CVS, I mean panel bottom glue, and uh, weld it in some areas as well. But, um, anyway, if you guys like these kind of, if um, anybody finds interest in this, I'll start a whole new channel on just teaching auto body and paint. And uh, I really think that that is uh, an, another, not the direction I'm headed with this channel, but it's definitely something I think that, uh, you know, stick to what you know. This is what I'm really good at. I'm really good at a lot of things, but this is what I'm absolutely great at. I mean, I've mastered this. I am one of the top painters in the Pennsylvania area, if not the top. Not to brag or boast, but I mean, I've been doing this a very long time. I have a reputable name. And, uh, you know, I started painting trucks like this just to, because um, it just got a little bit crazy uh, painting expensive cars and stuff and it's like whatever it's just a job but i make good money here i like it um I'm actually on my lunch right now filming this video so i'm hustling you know what i mean like everybody's eating lunch right now i'm still doing work and i'm filming a video to teach guys how to do it so it's like it's a it's a non-stop hustle that i'm trying to do here so um and i think it's going to pay off in the end uh, if uh if i can get an audience and and people to come to my channel, my auto body show channel, and learn, you know, and, and, and uh, master their own skills, and maybe I'll make a, a series out of it, and a whole show out of it, and I think, uh, like, you know how they have those, um, those shows on TV, like, uh, I forget what the heck they're called, like, they build cars and stuff like that, but, like, they don't really teach you how to do the body work, they're just showing you, like, okay, this is what it looked like, and now... They show like generally what they do, but they don't show the actual techniques, the actual work it takes, like where to, you know, like what I was just showing, like how to like X like that and like how to do the fine details after. Like you see so many guys like waste time and go ahead and start doing the detail work before the things are even straight. You see guys even if you go to like 80 and 120 grit and the thing's wavy as sin. Like why are you worried about taking out 40 grit scratches with with 80 grit and 180 grit when the thing is still wavy and you need to be straighting and it's still with the 40 grit. So, you know, there, there's steps to it. There's a technique behind it. And, um, uh, I think that, um, 
it can uh, benefit a lot of uh, people who are on YouTube and landing on this. So um, if you did land on this video and this helped you uh, with some of your auto body struggles, because I've struggled with all of this stuff. That's how I know how to do it. I mean, I've, I've made all the mistakes that you can make in this business. Believe me. And with painting, with everything. I mean, I'm, I'm generally a master painter. I'm certified PPG, Exalta, um, uh, Spies Hecker, which is Sickens, uh, Sherwin Williams, all of them, all the companies that you can think of. I have a certification in them. ICAR Gold Glass Painter, ICAR uh, ASC certified, uh, Auto Body Technician. I have it all. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm, I don't have my welding stuff, but if you guys are uh, looking for welding help, I can get a welder. I know my buddies, both my guys here, who, uh, who you know, Tommy can weld well, AJ welds real well. They come on second shift. I'll put them on the show, show you guys some pointers on welding with them if you want. But uh, my, my main thing is detail work, body work, like detail as in body, not like actual buffing and wet sanding, which I could do as well, but mainly like the detail of the finish work, of the body work, prepping. Uh, like how to prep, how to do it right. Not half-assed Mako fucking scuff pad prep jobs. I mean, you know, prep it right, prep the primer right, block sand it, you know, um, and then uh, wipe it down properly, how to, how to procedures, how to tape, how to tape up door jams, how to do all kinds of different roll your edge, how to do blends, how to do clear blends, how to do uh, pearl blends, how to do all kinds of different stuff. So um, I think I'm going to have a whole new... Um, channel for that but for right now I'm just gonna slowly add videos here and there about that stuff um, so if you're not into that you don't have to watch it whatever uh, like I said this channel is generally for everybody maybe I'll keep it all on this channel I don't know yet but um for right now I'm just gonna see how it works but uh, anyway I have to eat some lunch I'm hungry and I'll catch you guys next time and have a great day peace